So I see some of you guys have struggled with removing car badges in this tutorial here. So as your Lord and Savior, come forth and I shall give you guidance. I'm going to show you a cool way to bring the logo back. Project files and footage all linked below. And with that being said, let us begin. If it's your first time here, we're using the content aware tool on Adobe After Effects, which works exactly like the Photoshop content aware tool, except that it's a little bit more temperamental. But that mostly comes down to the footage that you have. For example, it works easier when you're removing a logo from a plain bonnet with very little reflections. Now the method for removing a logo is an easy three-step process. So let's get stuck in. So step one is rotoscoping out your object. And all this means is drawing a mask around it and tracking that mask. So if you have footage like this, let's firstly duplicate the layer and hide the bottom one. For the top one, let's rotoscope the logo using whatever method you prefer. You will need to do this for the frames you want to do the effect for. In this case, I did it from here to here. You can use Alt left square bracket and Alt right square bracket to cut out only that section and also move your render points here so only this area here renders. Otherwise, After Effects will try and pre-render everything and your computer will end up looking like this. So I use Mocha AE to track it, but you can use the Rotor Brush 2.0 tool or a simple mask with the pen tool and just tracking it. But once we have our mask, we can go to Window, Content Aware Fill, and we should see our alpha shown. If not, then you don't have a visible mask. You should be seeing a tracked black shape. So either you didn't turn off the bottom layer or you don't have your mask alpha set to add. Now, step two is to select a Content Aware method. The three different ones are Object Blend, Surface and Edge Blend. I always start with Object Blend and using the best lighting. And I also make the expansion between 3 and 5. This basically allows more info to be taken around the logo. And if we're lucky, we get a good version. If not, we can try different lighting methods or go into the second method, which is Surface. Which is mostly for text on a plain background like paper or the side of a building or a truck. I find that the surface method doesn't work that well. However, as a last resort, I like to use edge blend. This is the fastest method, but it's the least accurate as all it does is blend the edges up to the edge so you don't get much information in the center. Now what's good is that the content aware effect absorbs information that you add into it. So if you run the object blend once and it doesn't really work, you can just try rerun it again and you will get a better result. It just takes a lot more processing time, which is why step three is to iterate until perfection. But how do you remove ones that are more complicated? For example, here, where there are a lot of reflections in this shot. Well, we have to feed it information. So for this, you have to create your own reference frames. So what you would do is you would click here where it says create your own reference frame, which will open up Photoshop. Now you use the content aware tool here to try and make that frame look as perfect as possible. Then you'll close it and repeat for as many frames as possible before you get absolutely tired of doing this tedious task. However, the results can be very good. Congratulations, you have successfully created a clean plate. You may also want to duplicate your mask and invert it so you have the logo by itself. So here is a unique way to bring back the logo, the displacement reveal. I'm gonna use an effect by Red Giant called Chromatic Displacement for the main effect and Optical Glow for the glow effect as it has these really nice radiating lines. However, this set of plugins will set you back a lot of money. So if you want this for free, on your browser type www. So don't worry, after this, I'll show you how I made it with free plugins. It's not the same, but what can you expect? You cheap mother- Let's take the mask from your content aware steps and invert it. Now we have three layers, the original clip, the clean plate, and the logo by itself. So all I did for this effect was keyframe these settings to create a glass looking effect with the chromatic displacement. And also I keyframed the glow to appear as well. These will vary depending on your logo as it literally affects the pixels of it. So I did the same thing with the effect CC glass and a standard glow. So you can play with these settings, but if you check the link in the description, I created a free preset so you guys can use in After Effects. And I think it still looks pretty good. All I did was keyframe these settings here for the CC glass and these ones here for the standard glow. But there are other methods to make some really satisfying reveals such as this one here that you can learn by clicking on this video. Project files and footage all linked below. Shout out to all the patrons. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.